New 2017 Volkswagen Polo, exclusive images and spy shots. New Volkswagen Super Mini due later this year with a fleet of 1.0 liter engines plus a new platform. The Volkswagen Polo is a bellwether in the competitive Super Mini market sector. As such, it's one of VW most important models, and the firm is hard at work ahead of the release of the all new 6th generation version. Though it doesn't arrive until later this year, we've spied the next Polo a handful of times over the past few months, and we've even been treated to a pre-production drive, which you can read here. As our exclusive image reveals, the next Polo won't usher in a revolutionary new look Volkswagen will keep much of the recipe the same, but with standout tweaks such as new bumpers, headlamps, and the noticeable top lip on the grille. Instead, the revolution will take place under the skin and in the cabin. The new Polo is likely to go on sale in the second half of next year, around six months after the new Ford Fiesta arrives in the UK. As with the Ford, VW engineers have been focusing on improving rear cabin space and the quality of interior materials. But while Ford's offering can move up market to allow room for the value-orientated Ka Plus, the Polo still has to serve budget-conscious customers and cater for the ever-increasing demands of buyers who want upmarket, premium features in a small Super Mini. To help reduce costs yet boost sophistication, the new Polo will be the first car to switch to the smallest version of the VW Group's MQB platform, called A0. While the larger chassis parts already underpin a wide variety of models on a selection of different wheelbases everything from the Audi TT to the Golf SV engineers across VW's brands have been told to keep the A0 MQB setup simpler. That means a single wheelbase for the Polo, Audi A1, Seat Visa, and Skoda Fabia, as well as any subsequent SUV versions of those cars. Auto Express understands that the Polo's current wheelbase of 2,470 mm will stretch by as much as 90 mm for the next generation up to around 2,560 mm. Shorter overhangs at the front and rear of the car should ensure that the overall length stays at around the 4 meter mark, but the longer wheelbase will bring much improved cabin space, particularly for rear passengers. New 2017 VW Polo, Engines The next Polo's engine lineup will focus on small turbocharged units, although the range will start with a revised version of VW's 1.0-liter naturally aspirated three-cylinder petrol unit. Versions of the 1.0-liter will offer 6.4 bhp, 7.3 bhp, and 1.14 bhp in addition to this model. The new 1.5-liter petrol TSI engine from the latest Golf will be offered with 148 bhp, while we expect a new 197 bhp GDI to follow and top the range. The new Super Mini is unlikely to get the next Golf's rumored mild hybrid powertrain, however, because the system requires a step up to more sophisticated 48-volt electrics that are still considered too expensive to fit on a small car. Six-speed manual gearboxes should be standard across the range, although a five-speed could be offered on eco-focused blue motion models to improve efficiency and cut CO2 emissions slightly. The automatic option is likely to remain a seven-speed dual-clutch DSG unit. VW Polo Interior Technology Inside, the Polo will get real benefits from the switch to MQB, as it adopts big car technology that we've already seen on the Golf. All models will feature a color infotainment screen, and all but the base editions should have smartphone connectivity and app integration through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The largest touch screen could be as big as 9.5 inches, trumping the displays in all the Polo's small car rivals. VW is likely to offer the digital instrument cluster that we've already seen on several Autos and the latest Passat but probably only as an option on higher-end trim levels. VW's new boss Herbert Dice has stated that connectivity is one of his main priorities over the next two years, and the Polo will get some of the features that will be seen first on the facelift version of the MK7 Golf due at the end of this year. Expect built-in internet access on more expensive models, 
allowing the car to integrate with social networks without needing a smartphone data connection. Soon after the Polo's arrival, VW will launch a beefed-up SUV version of the car. It previewed the new model with the T-Cross Breeze concept earlier this year, yet while the show car was a convertible, the production version is likely to be offered with hard and soft tops. Seat and Skoda will launch their own small crossovers at a later date, 